Hello. Once again, I come before you as a representative of the Illuminati. You may call me the man. Well, this week's topic comes to us from a viewer who wants to know, what's the deal with the flat earth theory? Why is that blowing up right now? And uh, the flat earth theory, for those of you who are not aware of it, is the theory that we are not living on an oblate spheroid or globe. We're living on some sort of disk kind of thing. And the, the center of it is the North Pole and everything kind of fans out from there. And then there's this ice wall that's the South Pole. You know, Antarctica is basically just this wall of ice that goes all the way around the disk and holds in the oceans from going somewhere else, maybe. I don't know. Uh, that's the theory as I understand it. And of course, this is not a, a science channel, okay? We don't get into science theories or, or anything really science oriented and it's not a religious channel we don't discuss religion or what people believe and some people hold that flat earth theory because they believe in their interpretation of the bible or some sort of uh, holy book says that the earth is flat but um no the only reason i'm, I'm bringing this up is because uh, well it, it's kind of our fault um we in the Illuminati began America, the great American experiment, with the idea that government should rule by consent of the governed. And in order to do that, you have to have a healthy distrust of your government. Uh, you can't say, well, the government says so, so it must be good. Uh, no, no, you have to be part of the, the process because we know that people, when they get into power, well, they want more power, right? And they want their friends to be happy, so they give them favors and you know, corruption, and, and they want their enemies to suffer, so they make sure that happens too, because they're in power, you know, they can do that. And uh, you know, that's just the way it works. And, and so the people that are being governed have to say, no, you can't do that. You take a hike, somebody else comes in. And uh, the media is a big part of that. Uh, they're supposed to be exposing corruption in the government, and you know there is some. It, it's, but uh, it's easier to show you car crashes and Kardashians than to show you uh, what's going on in, in the government most of the time, so they don't really dwell on that a lot. Of, but anyway, eventually secrets come out, and uh, you can ask Richard Nixon how that worked, and it, it, was, it was not good for him. So uh, you have to have a healthy distrust of your government. Where a lot of the flat earth theory people get into it is they have an unhealthy distrust of their government. Uh, they, they, they know the government's lying to them, and the government will lie to you for certain aims, for certain ends, you know, if they want the stuff from some country, they may come up with some pretense in order to go down to that country and kill the people who are there and take it. Uh, you got to watch that kind of thing. Governments do that sort of stuff. Uh, however, they don't lie to you about everything. And so uh, some of these people think, you know, I was educated in a government school and they told me the world was round. Um, government lies to me. Therefore, the world must be flat. Uh, yeah, you know, NASA is a government agency, so anything we get out of satellites or, I don't know, faked pictures or something like that, uh, everything's coming out of the government, so it must be a lie. Therefore, the, there is no spheroid. There's, a, there's only a flat disk, and they don't want us to know that. They're always trying to keep us down and keep the truth away from us and about everything. And that's just, that's not healthy. I'm sorry. That's just, uh, you're taking things a little bit to an extreme in that regard. However, part two, uh, the second thing is that it, you know, we are actually lying to you through NASA. Um, as long-time viewers of the, of the program will know, uh, down at the South Pole, there is an entrance underground to the realm of the reptilians. Now, these are the homegrown reptilians. These are the ones who evolved from the dinosaurs. These are not the hybrid reptilians like the Queen of England or the hybrid hybrid reptilians that are in Romania. Now, these are the, the homegrown guys, and they live uh, under the ground. And one of the largest ways to go between our world and their world is in the South Pole. So we do doctor the pictures of the South Pole uh, to cover up the entrance. And we have very good reasons for doing so. It's we had a very long war with these people, okay, for a very long period of time. We had an uneasy truce, and then it became a peace, and we've established a nice peace with them, and uh, everything's worked really well, and so we thought it might be a good idea if we limited access to the reptilians. I mean, that's just all there is to it. It, it makes sense, right? Um, we don't want them awash in tourists from the surface. That would probably not be a good idea. Um, now, you'd probably be fine, you know, if you went down there. Sure, the people who are watching this are smart. Uh, yeah, but you're, your neighbor, that idiot guy, you know, he's leaving stuff on his lawn and he never picks up after his dog. And, you know, it's stuff like that. You know, you want him down there messing around with the reptilians. 
might spark another war. So we have bases at the North Pole, South Pole, doing scientific research, uh, military presence in case things get out of hand, but they're very disciplined people, the military, and so they follow certain protocols and contact with them. And, and it's not like they're living in isolation. They do come up here sometimes. We have an internship program, an exchange program. We had an intern here in our office just a few months ago, and we've got another one coming in. Uh, yeah, and uh, Hugh's wife, ex-wife, uh, has been down there for a couple of years now, uh, enjoying the hospitality. It's hot. It's very hot. I've been there. It's it's hot. Uh, anyway, but yeah, so that's that's kind of why we have the bases there, and we kind of cover over this little hole that's in the pictures and stuff. We don't round out something that's flat, but we did lie to you just just a little bit. So you know, but you know, it's understandable, right? Right. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's that's what it's all about. Listen, keep an eye on those government guys. We are too. We hope everybody keeps an eye on the government. We hope you participate in the government. We hope you don't get discouraged by saying, well, the government is... The you are the government, especially in America. Maybe not where you actually live who's watching this video outside of America, but you are the government. And so anytime anybody convinces you that you're not, including the government, because, you know, the people in power want you to think that there's something different between you and them. And there isn't any. They just hold a position that most of us put them there in, and most of us can get together and put them out of there. But if you're discouraged and you never participate in the process, well, then they've already won. Nobody's there to get them out, right? Things have to be really, really, really bad before they'll finally leave. No. We suggest, actually, that you turn your congressman over just about every time you possibly can. Get somebody else new in there. You probably won't, but we can suggest that you do that. You know, well, hopefully the whole world will catch on to the fact that you can't let people sit in power for too, too long, or else uh, only death can get rid of them, <laughs> or something horrible. Uh, yeah, so that's, you know, that's the whole thing. Uh, obviously now everybody's talking about the flat earth thing because of that dust up between the rapper and um, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the astrophysicist guy. Still stinged about the Pluto thing, but anyway, yeah. Um, you know, they've been going back and forth in the media, and of course the media, they like to show you something shiny, you know? It's a lot easier to show you that than to show you the corruption that's happening underneath the Capitol steps. So, yeah, that's why all that's getting blown up. Um, sorry. But uh, unintended consequences, you know? Uh, overall, things are going well. You got to expect a certain amount of blowback, and uh, you never know exactly which way it's going to go. Hence the term, unintended. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so if you have a question or comment, just leave in the comment section below. And of course, if you would like to subscribe, go ahead. And then uh, if you're going to tell me that this video says this is flat and that video says this is spheroid, don't bother. You know, uh, it's, it's not going to make any difference to us. Uh, that's our statement. And uh, you can, however, do something very important. And that is you can walk outside your house or your apartment or wherever you happen to live and you can look up there in the sky. And you see those chemtrails blazing, why well, then you can do us a favor. We in the Illuminati would suggest at that point that you just relax and breathe deeply. <sighs>